development from egg to organ systems. Mosaic or regulative embryos, two sides of the same coin. Sidney Brenner once quipped that animal development can proceed according to either the European or American plan. Under the European plan, you are defined by your ancestry. Under the American plan, what you do depends on your neighbors. These are actually two ends of a conceptual spectrum known as autonomous specification and conditional specification, respectively. This is quite similar to the conceptual spectrum that distinguishes mosaic embryos from regulative embryos, right up to the present day. Textbooks often emphasize this distinction, but as pointed out by Lawrence and Levine, these are just two sides of the same coin. To oversimplify, mosaic development depends on agents, such as transcription factors, being placed locally in the egg by the mother. Regulative development depends in part on long-range gradients of positional information, such as that provided by the hedgehog protein, that can pattern many cells at once. Regulative development can also be driven by short-range signals that trigger changes in cell identity in nearby neighbors. Among multicellular organisms, complex organization arises during development. The evolution of complex organization therefore involves the evolution of genes that control the process of development. In many animals and plants with sexual reproduction, we often define the beginning of development or the next generation as the process that begins when an egg is fertilized and then divides into a multitude of specialized cells. In reality, both parents and offspring represent a continuum of growing and dividing cells that span a multitude of generations. Only living cells give rise to other living cells. This is one of the core principles of cell theory.